Hey, what's going on? Aaron Chen here. Hope you are doing well. If you're watching this video right now, you might be doing some research on YouTube about what are the best ways to create passive income from home, okay? Now, uh, in this video, I'm gonna give you three ideas over the next few minutes, so stay tuned for that, all right? If this is the first time you are watching one of my videos, uh, consider subscribing because I'm always talking about how to generate more income um, and how to grow your business more profitably using the internet. Struggle with that word. And at any time, if you want, you can um, learn how to grow a six-figure affiliate marketing business by clicking the description link below and I've got a four-day training course for free if you want to check it out completely up to you okay so let's get to the content all right so what are some of the great passive income strategies um, that you can use from home um, or at home right really really important I'm gonna talk about three today um, the first one which I is my favorite right because this is something that I've been able to do um, inside of my inside of my life is um, to build a business okay because if you think about it if you build a business and you own the business and it's running successfully, right? What's actually happening? Well, you're generating income on a regular basis, right? So as long as you continue to run that business, whether you've got a team of people doing it for you or you've got a setup which works really, really well, well where you don't necessarily have to be there all the time, even when you start to get a lot older, right? So once you start hitting 70, 80, you know, 85 and you're like, you know, you want to retire, um, you're still getting passive income from the business um, every single day day and or, you know on a monthly and yearly basis okay so that's why I say that for me um, especially if you're at that stage of your life where you know you're pre-retirement right you're not at 50 60 70 you know 80 years old yet um, and you still have a lot of energy in you uh, and you want to find a way to generate more income I think that starting a business is actually the best way to generate income from home okay but not just any business you must make sure that you start an online business and we're gonna talk about some of the options that you have over the next few minutes okay so so consider starting an internet business um, if you've never done it before and for so many reasons right an internet business is way way cheaper than starting a brick and mortar business by far okay if you want to start a restaurant which I wanted to do because I enjoy cooking I actually even have a cookbook out um, if you are anywhere in, in Malay you know the Malaysian area um, go hit a bookshop and it's called two dudes in the kitchen you can check it out um, that was my little stint on, on, on TV uh, but anyway got a cookbook out so I wanted to start a restaurant you know back in 2008 2009 did a lot of research and then realized that it was gonna cost me like you know a million ringgit two million ringgit my currency uh, you know if you convert it to US dollars that's roughly about three hundred thousand dollars you know two hundred and fifty three hundred thousand dollars it's a lot of money right and so um, whether you start a restaurant or a, a you know a Starbucks franchise McDonald's franchise or you start some sort of consultancy um, you know if you wanted to start a recruitment consultancy or or uh, you know a law firm I mean it's gonna cost a lot of money it'll probably cost around the same you know 250 300 400 thousand to, to get everything set up to you know do the construction to build the office to hire the people pay salaries insurance um, setting up all the infrastructure the computers the internet all that stuff the renovation it's very expensive to set up a brick-and-mortar business right and so that's why I loved um, you know the internet the whole idea of starting an internet business for me that was that was tremendous you know um, much much lower cost okay of course you still have to invest in your business right because you know the, your online business it doesn't matter what you do online you still need to have you know uh, a, a funnel builder you need to have websites you need to have a blog you need to have uh, you need to generate ads you know traffic for example generate leads um, you need to have a tracking software um, there are a few things that you need right you need to be able to operate you need a computer right some people it's so funny I'll get messages uh, from people you know in this part of the world they're like Aaron do I need a mobile phone or a laptop to run my online business yes you do you need a laptop to run your online business what are you gonna run it from right but what are you gonna run it from if you don't have a mobile phone or a laptop yeah so yes you need these basic tools you know do you need the internet yes you need an internet connection okay <laughs> to start your business I mean it's, it's just funny when I get these kind of questions um, you know by email or Facebook Messenger or even on my on, on the comments on my YouTube channel it's hilarious right yes you need tools to, to run your online business but the beauty is is that the tools are much less they're a lot more affordable and you don't need to go to the bank to take a you know fifty thousand or three hundred thousand dollar loan you know it's crazy right um, and so that's why I love the internet and the other thing is you can scale your business tremendously online right for for most businesses and I'll talk about that in a second so if you're smart and you grow the right online business because not all online businesses are scalable by the way okay or well let me rephrase they're all scalable but some of them require um, you to hire people, 
okay? So it might be an online business, but you need to hire people. So that kind of scale is a lot slower, it's a lot more difficult. Um, I don't really like businesses like that, to be honest. And, and again, we're gonna talk about that again in the next few minutes, okay? But yes, you can scale globally, you can scale very, very fast when you know what you're doing. Um, and again, there's, it's, it's not, limited by boundaries. So if you live in, live in England or you live in the US or you live in China or you live in Malaysia or Singapore, um, you don't, you're not restricted to selling just to people in Singapore or you're not restricted to just selling to people in your town, you know, in Buffalo, New York or, or whatever it is, right? You can sell to anyone globally, you know, which is the truly amazing thing about the internet, okay? So let's talk about a few different models that you can try. All right, so there are four main models um, that I can think of right now off the top of my head. I've actually got my notes here, so if you see me looking down, I'm just referring to that, right? So the, the, the model that I like the most, okay? Actually, I'm gonna talk about it later. So there, there are three other models before the model I like the most. And the first model is something called MLM. Okay, multi-level marketing, network marketing, you've probably heard of that, right? So, um, com completely legitimate model. I mean, that's where I started. Um, you know, companies like Amway, MonaV, Herbalife, um, Melaleuca, these are some of the biggest uh, MLM companies in the world. These are massive companies, they're multi-billion dollar companies, they've been around for like, you know, 20, 30, 40 years, right? Now, you can actually build your MLM company on the internet, okay? So, the way it generally works is, um, the traditional MLM model is you go out there and you recruit as many people as possible. Whether they are strangers on the street or they're for your friends and family, you recruit them into your business, right? And as you recruit these people, they do the same thing that you're doing. They recruit other people and then they recruit other people and then it sort of builds. And that's why, you know, people, you know, call like MLM a pyramid structure, right? A pyramid scheme because it's shaped like a pyramid, okay? It's not a pyramid scheme as long as their products are good. Some are, but most of them are actually pretty legit, right? Uh, but it's, it's shaped like a pyramid because they recruit, you recruit people that recruit people that recruit people. So the base gets bigger and bigger and that's the shape of a pyramid. And that actually is really the true uh, residual passive income model. Okay, if you can get it to work properly. The problem with MLM is whenever you recruit somebody, it's very difficult to get them to duplicate what you're doing, okay? And that's what I found. So in 2009, I joined four MLM companies. You may know this story uh, if you've been following me for a while, but I recruited over 100 people in four different MLM companies, right? And the problem I found was I was very good at recruiting, but I couldn't get my team to copy what I was doing, okay? Because recruiting other people, especially your friends and family, or even online, is a very difficult thing to learn. Okay, so my team wasn't duplicating. So that means that if I wasn't recruiting, my team wasn't growing, all right? And so I didn't like that. So for me personally, again, it, it, it's an, it, could, it could be an option for you, right? You can learn how to grow an MLM company on the internet. So you use the internet to brand yourself, you use the internet to drive leads into your sales funnel, and then the product that you're selling is basically an opportunity to grow a multi-level marketing company. You could do that, okay? And you could potentially create passive income. So that's one option. It's not my favorite option, uh, but I know people that are very, very successful at doing it, you know, on the internet. So you could do that if you really wanted to, right? The second one is to be a freelancer. So you start an online business, you become a freelancer. And, and what this business entails is you basically um, think about the skill that you have that, is, that you're great at, okay? Uh, and then you market that skill on the internet to people all over the world. So you're using the internet, it's an internet business, but what you're doing is you are outsourcing your skills for a price. Okay, now that's not that different from a job if you think about it, right? So if you're a photographer or if you're, you know, someone who does design, um, but you've got, you know, you're, you're in, let's say you work in New York or whatever, right? You could have a shop and people would come to that shop and they would pay you to take photographs of them or, you know, to design logos and stuff like that, right? So that, this is an extension of that. The difference is, is that you can do it on the internet and there are lots of websites where you can do this stuff. Fiverr.com is one, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Another one is Upwork, U-P-W-O-R-K.com. Um, there are quite a few. All you need to do is go to Google, right? Very powerful search engine. And you can literally type out what are the top freelance, freelance uh, websites online. And Google will give you a list of the, the top five or 10, okay? And you can go check that out if you want. Now, I don't like that model because for me, you're still trading time for money, if that makes sense, right? And for me, time is really, really important, okay? So if, if I'm one person and I design logos, for example, right? I can only design so many logos in a single day, if you think about it, right? I could probably design like 10 logos a day, maybe. 15 logos a day, maybe, right? Now, if you're working on fiverr.com, 
you're charging people roughly about five, 10, 15, 20 dollars for a logo. Sometimes a little bit more, it depends on, on what the job is, right? But so if you think about it, you can't really make that much money, okay? Even if you were charging somebody 10 or 20 dollars per logo, you're, you're, you max out. You can only make 100, maybe 200 dollars a day, and you have to give some to the website, which is Fiverr, right? Now you might be thinking yourself, to yourself, well, Aaron, 100 dollars a day is a lot of money. $200 a day is a lot of money. It is, right? But compared to what I know about the internet, it's not that much money because when you understand how to build the right business online, you should be able to double, triple, quadruple, fifth tuple that. I hope that makes sense, okay? Now, if you want to work as a freelancer for eight hours a day online, providing your services, then by all means, it's, it's a great option. So you can check out some of those websites there, okay? And then the fourth one, sorry, the third one, which I don't personally like that much, to be honest, but it's an option, is also an online business, is to create a marketing agency. So you see a lot of people doing that right now. You see a lot of these gurus talking about how to start a marketing agency. I personally think that that's one of the most difficult things to do, to be honest, because essentially what a marketing agency is, is you learn all about online marketing and then you go out into your city. So if I live in Kuala Lumpur, right, I would go into Kuala Lumpur and I would call, I would physically cold call or hand out flyers or you know go door to door and speak to different companies and say, hey listen, I've got an online marketing agency. If you wanna learn how to get more exposure through YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you know, Google, whatever, because I got that skill, um, you can contract me and you can, you know, you can pay me $500, $1,000, $2,000 a month, and I will provide you with this package uh, every single month to expand your business reach on the internet. You could do that. You could even go to like a mom and pop shop, like a restaurant, you know, a pizzeria, um, you know, someone's print store, someone's recruitment company, local recruitment company on, on High Street or whatever it is, and you could do that. Now, I don't necessarily like this, you know, um, you know this marketing agency thing because Again, you're limited by the amount of time that you get to spend on every single client's job, if that makes sense. The only way you can scale your business is if you hire people into the company, which is okay if you don't mind building that kind of model. But for me, again, the scale is very, very slow. Okay, so, and the other problem is obviously you have to learn how to become a great marketer and you have to go out there and hustle and you have to deal with clients um, and dealing with clients for me personally sucks. I think, I think it's one of the worst things in the world. I, you know, I used to be a recruitment consultant, right, for, for seven years. Um, dealing with clients sucks, okay? And if you've ever been in the um, agency world, advertising agency world, dealing with clients sucks because the client's always right and that's just the way it works. That kind of you know, model, the client's always right and I hate that, right? So again, these are the three, MLM, freelancer, and marketing agency. The fourth one is the one that I like, okay? This is, this is, I think this is the best online business that you can grow. If you've watched any of my content and you know what I do, um, I think affiliate marketing or selling digital information products on the internet is the best online business that you can grow. Let me explain why. First of all, you only have to worry about yourself, okay? You don't have to worry about hiring a team, not yet anyway, okay? Um, and you can get to your business to quite a lot of money. You can get, probably get your business to $50,000 to $100,000 a month before you even need to hire anyone in-house. You can hire external parties from India, Philippines, you know, China, the US, whatever, virtually, okay, which is great, but they're not an in-house employee, all right? so. I mean, if your goal is to get to fifty to hundred thousand dollars a month um, as an individual person, then it's a pretty good option. The second thing is, is it's all about scale. So once you understand how to, you know, sell a digital product online. So, so if you don't know what affiliate marketing is, all it is is you take a digital product and you resell it on the internet to someone around the world who might need that digital product to solve a problem that they have, okay? It could be teaching their dog how to stop peeing on the carpet. It could be learning how to drive more leads on Facebook. It could be learning how to lose 30 pounds around the waist, right? These are all the different in, you know, uh, problems that people have in hundreds and thousands of different niche markets all over. So if you can get that information to them so they can, so they can solve their problem, people are willing to pay really, really good money for that information. And that's all affiliate marketing is. Now, when you get to a certain point in your affiliate marketing career, you might decide that you're the ex you're so expert at it that you wanna create your own products, okay? So it's exactly the same thing. It's just instead of selling somebody else's product, you now sell your own product. I hope that makes sense, right? And the beautiful thing about affiliate marketing is that when you learn how to make $1 into $5, 
okay? All you have to do is turn up your lead flow in the front, which is usually advertising. You just pay more for ads and you just fill your sales funnel with more leads, but everything here is already optimized, if that makes sense, right? So you don't actually have to do any more, any more work. You just have to fill more, you just have to fill your sales funnel with more people in the top and that's it. And that's why you can get your business to, you know, five, six, seven figures as an individual, which is pretty darn cool, okay? So for me, that is the ultimate business and that's the ultimate way to create passive income, okay? Especially from home because, you know, you, you do it from home. I do it from home, right? Um, so that's number one, starting a business, okay? Then the second and third option, I wanna talk about it just really quickly, but again, these options aren't great because you're probably doing some research on YouTube about how to create passive income from home because you are looking to create more income for yourself, right? You're not really looking for this information because you're already a millionaire and you wanna invest and grow more passive income. That's what I'm assuming, right? So the second and third option is actually the real way to create passive income and that is number one, maybe to start a real estate portfolio where you're investing in real estate all over the world or all over your city, or all over your country, depending on where you live. And then the third way is just investing in general. So whether that's in stocks, uh, mutual funds, exchange, uh, ETFs, ex exchange traded funds, or cryptocurrency, right? Now here's the problem with option number two and option number three, it's real estate and investing. You need money to do these two things, okay? And so people, they, they, they get it backwards, right? They always think like, okay, I'm going to invest and I'm gonna become rich. You are, but that's the last thing that you wanna do in the money life cycle, if that makes sense, right? The first thing you wanna do in the money life cycle is go get a job, okay? <laughs> because you need a consistent income, otherwise you can't do anything. You're, 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 you're gonna struggle, right? You need to pay your bills, you need to feed your family, put, you know, put a roof over your head. So step one of the money life cycle is to get a job, get a regular income going, okay? You can't do anything without regular income. Step number two of the income life cycle is to start a business. So once you take that income that you have from your job and you put it into your business, then you can start growing something. And then it's, it's kind of like, you know, when, when a farmer um, has to sow seeds, right? They sow the seeds, they, they water it, they fertilize it, and over a period of time, it, it takes a while before the roots start to shoot up and, the, and it becomes a beautiful tree or bush and then it bears fruit, right? Well, that's what your business is, okay? And feeding it and, you know, and, and, and fertilizing it, that's the money that you're investing it from your income, from your job, and also the amount of action that you're taking on your business on a regular basis, okay? And then finally, when you've got a lot of income, then and only then do you move to step number two and three, which is uh, maybe investing in a real estate portfolio or number three, investing in general, whether that's in cryptocurrency, um, you know, funds, exchange rate, uh, you know, and, and all that good stuff, okay? Um, and then that portfolio becomes massive, okay? And that's how people become very, very rich, right? It's about building a business and then taking that money and then parlaying it into investments and then growing a huge empire, okay? So you don't start with passive income from the beginning, all right, uh, passive, well, you know, you're, you know, when you're talking about investing in real estate, you know, definitely, you wanna do that last. That's, that's my opinion anyway, right? Some people might say, well, you can start doing it as soon as you have a job and you have a little bit of income. You can, but for me, I think that growing a business will grow your money portfolio much, much faster if you know what you're doing compared to investing it in a cryptocurrency or exchange traded funds or a mutual fund or even real estate, okay? Because you can control it and the growth of your company potentially, especially if you do it online, can be tremendous. I mean, you can grow your online business by 100%, 200%, 300%, 1,000% 1, in your first year. Your investments will never be able to do that. Okay, the average in, you know, increase, in, even if it's a great crypto, right? Um, I mean, maybe 50%, but um, you know, if you're talking about safe investments, you're talking about like five, 10, 15, 20, 25, maybe even 30%, but beyond that, no, probably not, right? So that's why I still think that business is really the best way to grow your passive income from home and affiliate marketing business, okay? So listen, that's it. So lots of stuff there. Um, you may need to rewind this video again and watch it if you wanna get some of those ideas. But for me, honestly, um, if I could suggest anything to you is to start an affiliate marketing business. That is the best way to create a passive income um, from home because you're leveraging the internet. It's a proper business that you own. You know, you can scale this thing like, you know, like ridiculously, all right? Um, and it is the proper path 
in terms of the money life cycle, okay? First, if just to remind you, first one is your job, second one is to start a, a great business, and then the third one is looking at real estate and, and other investments as well. So let me know your thoughts, okay? You might have some different thoughts in the comments below, I would really appreciate that. Um, that's the way I look at it, right? And that's the way that, that you, know, I, you know, I've built my wealth. Um, I think that that's the way that you, know, you should build your wealth too, but obviously there's, there's, diff there's different ways. You can chop and change, you can use different strategies, um, but I think that that's the, the most linear way to think about growing a really powerful passive income from your home, okay? So if you got some value from this video today, let me know, some thumbs ups would be great. Sorry, this is a pretty long video, it's 20 minutes long, but I hope you get some, got some tremendous value. And, and look, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos and you're like, Aaron, that sounds like a great idea. I've always wanted to start an online business, but I'm confused, I don't know how to do it. I don't know much about affiliate marketing. Uh, and you wanna learn, all you have to do is click on the link right below um, this video. Um, and once you hit that link, you'll go to the next page or go ahead and just enter your best email address and I will send you a video that will show you um, in seven steps how to build a tremendous affiliate marketing business from home if that's what you wanna do, completely up to you, okay? Aaron Chen signing out, I'll catch you guys tomorrow, take care.